Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Program note for tonight, my normal 9 o'clock live stream is actually going to start kicking off at 7.45 Eastern because we're going to be watching the Washington football team. Of course, we need to scout them. we got to see Ryan Fitzpatrick to see if the magic is back already. And also, too, that great Washington defense to see how they're looking because, of course, we're going to have to play them twice uh, this season coming up at least maybe three times. You never know if there's playoffs. Yes, we're talking about playoffs. Uh, we watched the Eagles, of course, last night throw up all over themselves. And, uh, of course, we're going to be playing them twice this year. And then, of course, Sunday afternoon, we will watch the New York stinking Giants as well. And so, with that, we're going to make sure that we have you guys informed. But also, as a bonus, tomorrow afternoon, we have our league number two of fantasy football draft coming up. 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. We'll be doing another one of those uh, races uh, with Roz. You know, basically taking and uh, picking out the draft order for the draft tomorrow. So we'll take care of all that stuff tonight. And we may even have DMV uh, joining us as well. So it'll be a lot to be enjoying with tonight. So I hope you tune in. Um, a couple of notes. The Cowboys had practice today. Not a game. Not a game now. We talking about practice, uh, which basically was a glorified walkthrough. They didn't really go you know, balls to the wall or anything like that. They ended up basically taking easy, knowing that they have a game tomorrow night. Dak Prescott did a little bit of throwing inside, then went outside to the outside practice field, in which case he did some more throwing as well. He is on a pitch count. Um, program note for the Cowboys is we heard from Todd Archer that some teams are interested in the governor. Uh, Connor McGovern that some team are interested in trading for and we'll see if anything uh, amounts to that. Um, I'm thinking with all of the issues that we had last year on the offensive line that you're not trying to get rid of anybody that's still on a rookie contract right now. Just not going to do it. Uh, you never know when you've already had Lyle Collins have you know a little bit of a neck stinger. You still have Tyron Smith who you know every year has missed like three games. And you can never have enough offensive linemen to protect our quarterback. So if you've watched the uh, title in here, Dak haters are coming back out of the woodwork. I, I'm, I'm amazed at, at, sadly, how much people truly hate Dak Prescott. For whatever reason, for whatever reason, they just cannot stand him. And they've been lying in wait for something to happen. And they look at this as the opportunity to start coming out the woodwork now and saying, I told you so. It's all his contract. You know, it, it started out, of course, when he was a rookie and took over to Tony Romo. You know, he's a garbage-ass quarterback. You had ESPN and all those groups going, he's a dink and dunk, dink and dunk quarterback that, that he's just not that good, Okay. And then, of course, it went to garbage time, of course, okay? You know, and, and then it was can't beat winning teams. They always try to find a way to discount them. And here it is now on my channel. It's, it's, it's amazing. They have, the trolls have descended on me like cockroaches when the lights go off. And let me go through a couple of these comments. I'm not going to glorify them with their names because then I'll just make them happy. But uh, I'm just amazed. Um. Dan Steller reports it's a tear, not a strain. Dak will be <clears throat> injured all season taking cortisone shots if he lasts all season at all. Like Troy Aikman, Terry Bradshaw, Michael Irvin said, there's more to the injury than being told. Mark this. Oh, no, okay. Mark, why aren't you reporting on Dak and not even being 100% ready for week one? Don't you want your little birds on the phone calling you dead wrong? Uh, Mark. Why you keep your Dak Prescott fans in the dark about Jerry Jones calling the Yankees and the Texas Rangers? Many, many of your Dak fans don't know that. I had to explain to them that's what it said to Jerry Jones. Uh, we had Connor say, I was at practice. Dak did a good bit of throwing with some zip on it uh, to the ball, but only personal drills, not with the team. Uh, do we do – we 
Feel good reports say that Dak's shoulder injury will not be 100% against Tampa, and he took uh, no live reps to use. It's used to being hit. Jerry Jones is going to have to make the call for a starting quarterback, and I believe it's going to be Nick Foles. Sorry, Dak Prescott. Fans, it's, uh, it's over for him and starting quarterback in the NFL. Laughing my ass off. Um, seriously. It, and it just goes on and on. It's reported that the arm will not heal for 100% by Tampa Bay. You guys are hoping and praying that Prescott is still injured, but I hate to bust your bubble, but it's he's going to play and play very well. You guys are delusional. Facts are facts. It's not seriously injured, then why is he not throwing the ball in practice and not getting hit? Uh, you have a man crush on Nick Foles? This is your pal. Nobody cares about your devlu- – oh, I can't read that part. Tim Wilson – oh, sorry. Uh, it's not that Dak injured, then why is he not throwing – oh, they want to the Yankees and the Ranger doctors for no reason. Two MRIs and no reason. Dak is fine, though. Wow. It goes literally on. I can go down forever. And I'm trying to understand if these are, in fact, Cowboy fans or if these are just trolls out there because, you know, some have Dak such and such in their name or, you know, Cowboy fan. And then I'm beginning to believe that maybe that they're Eagle fans in disguise or just some real sick individuals. Uh, The reality is, is this. It's almost funny to a man that we've had so many people hoping, praying, banking on Dak Prescott failing. The amazing thing about Dak Prescott has been he's never been the guy who everybody thought was going to be the guy. He's always had people that have forever doubted him. He's always been the underdog, yet... Somehow, some way, Dak always ends up coming back on top. Here's the reality of football right now, as we've seen um, Jalen Hurts, who looked fine before the game and ended up having severe stomach issues that came on, you know, like cramps or what have you, and couldn't play. You've seen Carson Wentz literally go out there and run around the outside end and his foot just about fall off. Injuries are part of football. And from this point forward, I don't know that there's any player that's out there that's 100%. Keep Hayden on Dak. Keep it up. He thrives on it. He literally just brushes that shit off and just continues to rock and roll. I'll put my faith in Dak Prescott until I see differently. Dak Prescott will be fine. The funny thing will be is, just like every other time that we've had you jackass trolls come in here hating on Dak, saying, oh, Dak ain't ever going to get a contract. Dak Prescott, he's going to be flipping burgers in two years. The funny thing is, when Dak comes back and thrives, somehow you jackasses that hide behind other names because you don't really want people to know who you are will just disappear, and you'll go back to laying in wait till the next time there might be a chance, just a chance, that something might be wrong with Dak Prescott. Yep. You guys are funny. Oh, I say it, I say it again. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Yeah, you guys have been bamboozled again. I'm Mark Holmes, and you know how we roll. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in a couple hours with the Washington football team, as well as the Joe Blue Sports Reports live stream. You.